Okay, so let's talk about the different tones on a hand drum. You can apply this to any hand drum. Uh, the mother drum groove just has a lot of these tones going on at the same time. So you got a bass tone, the thumb is in, the fingers are together, there's some stiffness, not, but not a whole lot. The thumb's in, and there's a small cup in here. It's not really rigid, it's not really stiff, uh, but the thumb is definitely in. You're trying to capture the sound, you're trying to eliminate high pitches from the edges seeping in, so you want to stay in the middle. Watch out that you don't hit this part of your hand against the edge. And you're going to bring that sound out. You're going to pull it up out of the sound. And that's just B. A B for bass. This has a little high pitch ring to it. A jet A will have a nice sound to it. ring to it because it's a thick head. Okay, so I'm trying to hit with the fleshy parts of my hand, not the bones, but the fleshy parts of my hand, and I'm trying to focus that sound and pull it out. If there's a slash through that, and you can use either hand for that. you do, make sure you repeat it. It turns into a groove. Um, if you hold that sound down, you can put your body into it to signal that you're holding that sound down. That's a B with a slash through it, and it's, so it's a muted bass. and there's down motions and you can use your body to signal this basic pulse movement remember what we were talking about and those are the bass tones there's another one called the heel H is what we use and it is definitely muted even though we don't put a slash through it normally there's only one heel and it's this it's with this part fleshy part of the hand. You want to make sure you're not hitting these nerves here. And so I'm kind of like definitely stretching my fingers out and I lean into it and it's even more focused and more muted. It has a sharper articulation, more pointed, more staccato than the other bass tones. And it's usually done with the left hand if you're a right-handed player. And it's often part of what's called the floating hand technique. So we'll show you in the bembe, we use this. We go boom, but. See the double muting? I'm holding this down and I'm playing a slap. So there's double muting there. This is still being held down while I do this. what a heel is. You'll also see it in heel toe. This is the floating hand that you see a lot in conga playing for Cuban music where you have this heel toe. The toe is up here by the, the T for toe, T for toe, tip, fingertips. It's up here by the edges and so you have this.
get going really fast with that. I like the Brazilian roll, heel, heel, toe, toe, heel, heel, toe, toe, heel, heel, toe, toe. So it's a little bit faster for me to do it that way. Boy, but you can see some Cuban conga Laros playing that like crazy. The Cuban roll. 